Let's talk about how to use under one's belt to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Horn Nelson here and our idiom today to coincide with this year's annual challenge, the BU 365 day challenge, to do one thing every day that improves us is under one's belt. This is kind of a fun idiom. It really means it, the process, it, it's used to describe the process of achieving success at something. Now, originally this began in the late 1700s, the early 1800s, to become a popular expression, but it was used to count or accrue the number of alcoholic beverages that someone consumed. And later on, it, it became and was used as an expression to uh, associate with food, so how much food people ate. So when you see these food eating competitions and things, um, people would say they had so many eggs under their belt or so many uh, pies under their belt, different eating contests. But it then was transferred to mean success at anything. If you achieve success at something, if you had experienced something, you had that under your belt. Now, how I tie this into business and look at it for business is, and growing our business, how and what have we achieved so far? So often, we're just dealing with the daily problems and challenges that pop up in our business or in our lives, and we're not taking time to actually count our blessings, count the achievements and the things that have worked out well for us. I always keep, uh, I, I do a couple things to make myself do this. So I remember that we get what we want out of life by focusing on what we want, not on what we don't want. So if we're focusing on moving forward and on our end goal, we'll eventually get there because we'll make the choices and decisions and we'll take the actions that cause us to make that happen in our businesses, especially as we're creating the type of businesses we want to have in our life. So we count our achievements. We have to have some way of reminding ourselves that we have a lot more successes along the road of creating our business than we do failures. We're gonna have a lot of failures, but it only takes one success for us to usually achieve the big push and the big result that we want for our business. So do you have a way of counting your blessings, counting your achievements in your business, tracking your achievements. A lot of different businesses that I've worked with and associated with have different types of awards that they create for their customers, their members, the people that use their products and services. Uh, in the entrepreneurial space, one of the biggest ones that comes to mind is the Two Comma Club Award or the Two Comma Club X or the uh, from ClickFunnels, which is a software company. And you're like, well, why is a software company and a software as a service in many aspects have these awards? Well, it's because it brings people into the community, gives them a sense of community, and gives them a goal to work toward. A lot of times it's hard when we're on our own and we're building our own businesses to pick what, what should my next goal or my next milestone be. So it's a terrific way to Number one, create lifelong customers. Number two, bring people into the organization. Number three, set examples for other people of what can be done with your products or services. So love to know if you do anything like that. Have you created an award for your community, your tribe, your people, your customers, uh, your associates, whatever you happen to call those people in your business? And the second thing is, do you have a way of personally for your business, tallying and keeping track of your achievements. Uh, because I think it's really, really important. When I was in corporate America, I had what I called an awesome huff file or an awesomeness file. So all the good things that happened, and I would stick little post-it notes in there with good things that happened. Or if I got cards or messages or, or letters, back in the day we actually wrote things down on paper, uh, I would keep all those cool things in my awesome file. So when I was having a bad day, because guess what? We all have bad days sometimes. I could just go in and I could look at that file and remind myself, no matter how bad something was that was going on right now, all these the good things had already happened and that meant more good things were gonna happen as well. So that's our expression, our idiom for today, under one's belt. Uh, curious if you've heard or used this expression. I will be with you tomorrow to share another idiom related to this year's annual challenge. Have an awesome day, and I'll be with you tomorrow.